And then this continues on and talks about a lot of the new data was that was coming in with the background radiation, the homogeneous nature of it, the patchiness nature of it, and whatnot. And this, what this is presenting, uh, Stephen Hawking, is what me as a geophysicist was taught at university regarding the origins of the universe with the Big Bang and stuff like this. And one of the, just to bring it together, uh, the main issue, problem associated with the Big Bang theory is that everything began from a point source and it was just energy, right? And since time, the way I define it, time is a property of matter, there would be no time if the whole universe was just energy. There was no matter, right? So when the Big Bang occurred, if the Big Bang occurred, if you believe in such theories, right? If there was a Big Bang and we're, when energy turned into matter, that was the beginning of time because when the energy went like this and matter was created, that's when time would come to be because time is a property of matter, right? So this thing tries to explore, you know, what is the origin of the universe? When I was studying it back in 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, the Big Bang Theory was uh, sort of pretty much the accepted theory in the Western world of how the universe came to be, right? Now in the last 10, 15, 20 years even, as Hollywood Fish says, Big Bang, Big Bang is a lot of crap. And there's a lot to say about that, right? So the Big Bang Theory is being very much questioned by many scientists and many philosophers. One of them would have been Terence McKenna, where he said it's more believable to believe in the hui kuhi polui creation of the universe in the Big Bang theory, right? And I'm I'm on the sidelines of this because uh, I, I don't know if we have the ability to really know what the origins of the universe were. The thing that we can really question is what's our origin individually, personally, right? Our consciousness. I think the question shouldn't be how matter came to be is more a question of how consciousness came to be and i think once we answer that question then everything else is rudimentary right so maybe connect it up to jose agrelas take it away from the material realm matter time-based reality and start trying to ask the questions of what it means to be conscious where there is no time uh, variable in the equations, right? Uh, interesting read, fun read, gives a good summary of when did this book, when was this published? In 1980s, I think. Uh, 1993. I think this is the first printing of it. Yeah, Bantam Books, October 1993, and there's no date before that. So 1993, and these essays were written, you know, 1970s, 1980s, right? Stephen Hawkins stuff, right? Uh, interesting read if you're if you want to get a quick summary and a simple read, as you could tell. Uh, if you want to get a simple summary of uh, what. The consensus in the Western world is regarding uh, the creation of the universe, right?